In Jordan, there is a guy who goes from trash can to trash can. Not to collect food, but to collect books. He took all these trash books and made an entire library out of them. Who is this guy and why does anyone want to read a book from trash? <laughs> In a remote town in Jordan, I found Abu Zakaria. Every day, Abu Zakaria wakes up and spends his whole day going through trash cans to find books. And he has done this for as long as he can remember. One day, when Abu Zakaria was in a public toilet, instead of finding toilet paper, Abu Zakaria found a newspaper. So he decided he will become the savior of the books. He started to collect all the books and newspapers he could find on the streets and in the trash and brought all these books home to give them a second chance. He would clean them up, use tape if necessary, and put them back together, just like new, in his little library. And the ones that cannot be saved, he would burn and bury the ashes in the soil. He did this for five decades, saving more than 200,000 books from trash. And the best part? His books can be borrowed by anyone, college students, little kids, rich people, or poor people. As long as they loved reading, Abu Zakaria's library is open for them. And all of this he does for free, without asking a single thing in return. This man has 19 children to feed, yet he is cleaning the streets of Jordan and helping kids get an education. The next time you're about to throw a book in trash, think of Abu Zakaria and give that book to someone who could really use it. Did you like that video? I hope so. It was a lot of effort and we're so happy to make it. In collaboration with Facebook, during the month of Ramadan, we are showing you the stories of 30 people in 30 days and each one of these stories is more amazing than the other. I hope you continue tuning in for this special daily series and follow us on Facebook. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.